Wilbur was probably my best friend. Uh, he's passed away. Uh, he was a farmer. Uh, he also had access to an automobile. Um, and uh, we double dated a couple times. Uh, he was the best man at my wedding. Uh, probably the closest uh, member of the class to me. Wilbur, if I say, if someone respects you, he was the ultimate. He always showed so, res so much respect for me. Uh, good guy, good friends. <gasps> My classmate, my, my, my best friend, she and I exchanged Christmas cards. I just found out that she was in, she was in a, a metal lodge nursing home in Yale, and I wondered why I hadn't heard from her. I said, do we always hear from each other? And when I got back from my little visiting for Christmas, there was a card from her telling me that she had broke her leg, she was in the nursing home in Yale, I got the address, and I sent her. Now, we always write a card with a note in it, bring you up to date what we've done all year. She was one of my best friends, Millie. Uh, she was, uh, came from the country, from a country school, and uh, she sort of had just one or two friends during the whole school year that I can remember. He was our president. He was kind of a quiet guy, but uh, always nice, outgoing. He was the president of the class. He was quiet. Nice fellow, very quiet. Uh, she was very quiet. Uh, once again, I don't think I've seen her since we graduated. No, she and uh, some of the others, we were always, uh, there was a group of us, we kind of hung out together, and she was always good. I enjoyed her. Very quiet, nice gal. Came to school, did what she had to do, and you didn't see her after that. Dick Bird, one of the quiet ones, into sports. Good guy. Yeah, he was friendly. Richard was our buddy. My buddy. All these people were. <laughs> Em and I used to chum around all over when we were in high school. Uh, he had access to a car. And uh, we dated, got double dated together on a couple of occasions. One of my best friends. Uh, he enlisted in the service, and uh, on one of my wife's travels, uh, we visited him at his, uh, where he was stationed in Washington, D.C., somewhere. Bob was born two, two doors from me, across the street, and uh, very, he was intelligent, uh, only child. Nice fellow. Bob Enright, the talker, the politician, <laughs> the, the negotiator. He, he was a good guy. I see him up at the stores every once in a while. We have a long conversation. Still, same old Bob. Always was friendly. Kenny Hack, the clown. I remember him as, he was funny, a class clown. Always into something. Well, the boys were always into something anyway, but Kenny was kind of in the middle of it. Oh, my goodness. Kenny Hack. <laughs> He was a sweetheart. If you wanted humor, you had to know Kenny. He was so humorous. Good guy. <laughs> I just have to laugh just looking at him. And one time, when he was in school, in science class, biology, whatever, he was experimenting, or they were, and he put two wires together. And you know what happened? <laughs> they were live. And he took off running down Clark Street. So from then on in, we called him Dynamo. Les Hartway. He and I talked two days ago. I see him all the time because he is still in New Haven and at the school. And uh, same Les always was, always was a good friend. Always was. One of the pretty girls in the school. I mean, uh, she was kept to herself pretty much. Uh, I don't think she jumped around with anybody particularly. She was kind of reserved. She was a brainy one, a student. 
she was very studious and we were in uh, she was in band and we were in a lot of us were in the glee club and all of these other little side activities that the school offered so she was one of those studious in a lot of activities she uh, was just uh, on the popular list uh, to a certain extent I don't know whether she played any sports or not um, quiet Margaret was valedictorian of the class. Very intelligent, very friendly, nice person. Betty and Millie. <laughs> Betty and I see each other and her husband's in politics and so she and I talk a lot and we kind of exchange things and she's always been fairly close, fairly close and um, a good friend. He, he and I were the first cheerleaders they had. We were in the sixth grade, and Mr. Seifert came up to us and said, I want you two to be cheerleaders. So we were. Delphine Sikowski, I miss her. She moved away. Now she and Millie and I and Beverly, and there was another one, we were in that little group. We always got into stuff in home ec. We'd slide out of, <laughs> out of uh, what did they call it, where everybody goes, study hall. We'd go down to home ec and we'd cook. So wonder they didn't kick us out of school because I know the smell went all over when that old building then. We always found a way to get out of it. The teachers would give us a pass and we go down to home ec. We did a sewing and cooking. So Delphine was in that little, I don't know, say the rat pack. She was in the little group. We always got into things, but we didn't get into trouble somehow. Lester Smith was a quiet little guy that just wanted to be everybody's friend. And he was. Arnold Straw was kind of a quiet one too. Um, not so much studious, but uh, always involved in whatever the class was doing. We used to have a lot of activities and everybody was involved because it was a small class. Oh, he could play the horn, the trumpet. Mm -hmm. uh, very musical, played sports. Nice guy, he comes and visits a lot. You know, I always loved school, and I tell my children, I told my daughter graduate, I told my, I tell my grandchildren, well, they're out now. I said, I loved school. I didn't have any problem. My nose was in a book, and uh, I studied hard, and I earned every bit of, as valedictorian, I earned that because I studied hard. But I loved, uh, I loved the, um, the bookkeeping, I mean, the business department was my favorite. But I was good in math and science. I still am into math. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Math is my strong suit. Not so much science anymore. But um, as I said before, I was active. I was in all the plays. I was uh, librarian assistant. Whatever was going on, I managed to be in it.